Hello, welcome to Proven Cures. I am your host, Sarah McLeod, and today is Monday, July 22nd, 2019. I know it's been approximately two months since I've done a video. Um, what prompted me to do this video is that here in the United States for the past four to five days approximately, we've been under a terrible heat wave. I'm actually, like I just got off work and I'm hiding out in my car in a thunderstorm waiting for the rain to die down before I run in. I actually, I saw my umbrella this morning and did not pick it up. So here I am. So I figured, well, since I'm sitting here in the car, <laughs> actually, um, what prompted me doing this video was that over the past few days, you know, with the heat wave and everything, everybody has been, of course, um, keeping themselves more hydrated. But I found myself actually abnormally drinking more coconut water than regular water. Normally I drink at least four bottles, 16 ounce bottles of wa regular water every day. But during the heat wave, maybe because I was home and I don't know, I just found myself drinking coconut water. So, you know, in the vein of, of proving cures and having the time on my hands because I recently moved, which is why I didn't have time, you know, to do these videos. But in the vein of proving cures and being home and, and having slowed down, I decided, well, let me look up, you know, some clinical benefits of, of actually drinking coconut water on a regular basis. And I uh, did a little research on PubMed.gov to see if any clinical studies were actually conducted using coconut water. And surprise, surprise, the reason why you're probably here in the first place, I found this study, I don't know if you can see it properly, it's titled the control the control of hypertension by the use of coconut water and mabi two tropical food drinks i never heard of mabi before finding this study um my mother is this study was actually conducted in trinidad uh, it's a west indian study and my family's west indian so i asked my mom if she heard of Mobby, and she did. I didn't, I've never heard of Mobby. I, this, this whole video is supposed to be about coconut water. But this study found that Mobby is also uh, equivalent in efficacy. It, it's able to control high blood pressure just as well as coconut water. So you drink Mobby or if you prefer the taste of it, it's an also an alternative. So let me tell you, the study was conducted at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, Trinidad and Tobago campus, at the Department of Clinical Preclinical Sciences. Um, the study was published in 2000, January 2005 in the West Indian Medical Journal. Um, and the publishers are T. Elaine, S. Roach, C. Thomas, and A. Shirley. And the study, I can almost read this verbatim because it's, it's not long, it's just an abstract. The study was conducted in 28 people who were diagnosed with um, having hypertension. 20, the 28 subjects were assigned to four equal groups and their systolic and diastolic blood pressures were recorded for two weeks before and then for another two weeks while receiving one of the four interventions. So the first group, the control group, just got basic drinking water, bottle drinking water. The second group received coconut water every day. The third group received mabi, or I don't know if they call it mabi juice, probably. And the fourth group received a mixture of coconut water and mabi. Significant decreases in the mean systolic blood pressure were observed for 71%. 40% and 43% respectively. So what that means is 71% of the population who got the coconut water saw a drastic decrease in their blood pressures. 40% um, who consumed the mabi saw a similar decrease and 43% of those who um, consumed the coconut water and mabi mixture had a decrease in their blood pressure. So for these groups, the respective proportions showing significant decreases in the mean diastolic pressure were 29%, 40%, and 57%. 
for the group receiving the mixture, the largest decreases in mean systolic and mean diastolic pressure were 24 points and 15 points respectively. So that's all I have. Uh, I also have, um, I believe this is an email address, but I don't, I, don't, I feel funny about giving it out because I'm not sure who this email address email address actually belongs to but it seems like if you wanted more information about the study or the authors this is who you would actually address your questions to not me because I don't have any further information for you but it's t-r-e-v-n-m-a-r at t-s-t-t dot net dot t-t so what I got from this study, I'm just it's just a quick recap, is that if you enjoy coconut water and if you suffer from high blood pressure, coconut water is a total win. You, uh, if you're able to drink it every day, once a day, you will find um, a dramatic decrease in your blood pressure. Um, people who consume Mobi, the decrease in blood pressure was not as much as it was in the population who drank the coconut water, the coconut water had the better results with 71% compared to 40%, but it was still effective. Okay, so hopefully you find that helpful. Also, please don't hesitate to leave comments um, or send an email or anything saying, hey, could you check on this for me? Or could you check on that for me? Because sometimes I run out of ideas and I have a lot of, of things going on also in my personal life as well. Like I told you, I just moved. So I get distracted and I have a very um, labor intensive job as well where I have to do a lot of reading and understanding. So my brain and my time gets bombarded but if someone says to me Sarah please check on this for me um, what's the latest research on on this issue or that issue I'm always willing to help because I care about human beings in general okay so I hope you found this helpful uh, like share subscribe and thanks for tuning in and thank you to all my loyal sub loyal subscribers as well I definitely appreciate you be blessed